In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add Google Maps to your Divi page and set up a Google API key so that you can use it within Divi. Google Maps is a very powerful tool and gives you a super customizable and easy to use map that you can put within your Divi page. Once you properly set up an API key for Google Maps, you have near limitless options for customizability and usability options. So today I'm gonna to walk you through setting up that key and how to put that in Divi so that you can use it within your Divi pages. All right, let's get into it. Obtaining and using a Google Maps API is simple. To create a key, go to the Google Maps platform credentials page. From here, if you have a project, you can select that or you can create a project. When you're creating a project, just make a name and add the location. And then once you have it, you can just select that. Once you have your API key created, you can copy that. You can also restrict the key. This keeps others from using it. I recommend restricting the API to prevent unauthorized access. Now, once you have your API key set up, you can go to your credentials tab over here and this will show you your key. You can hit show key if you need to see it. Here's where you can also copy your key again I have mine blurred out for obvious reasons. And if you need to adjust it, you can click your API key here. And this is where you can change your restrictions as well. So now that we have our API key set up, we need to put it inside of Divi. So to integrate your API key from your WordPress dashboard, go down to Divi and then theme options. From here, you'll see where you can put in your Google API key and you just paste it into the box. So now that we have that set up, we can add a Google map to a page that we want. So let's create a new page. So I'm gonna add a new page. Today, I'm gonna be working with Divi's free photography studio layout pack. You can find a link to download this pack yourself in the description below with all the instructions on how to do so as well. So I'm gonna use the contact page here. So we're gonna use this layout. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a map between these two sections where I have two different contact forms, which will show our map of our location for our business. So first, I'm just gonna add a regular section between these two. So we're gonna click the little blue plus. We're gonna add a regular section. And before I add anything else here, I'm gonna change the section settings so we can add a background color. So if you click the gear icon over here on the left, this will bring up your section settings. Under background, I'm gonna add a background color. I'm gonna use this light gray here. So I'm gonna save that. So first thing I wanna do in this section is I'm going to add a single column row here. And this is gonna be a text module. So let's look for text. I'm gonna add that in. And for the body here, I'm just gonna simply put in the word location. And I'm gonna make this a header four. So now let's style this a bit. So we're gonna use our design tab here and go to heading text. And we're gonna change the heading level for design because that's what this is. I'm gonna change this from the default font to the font of enter. Instead of regular, I'm gonna make this bold. And then I wanna make this all caps as well. So we can click the capital here. And now we can change the font color as well. So I'm gonna change the font color here to this orange color. I'm gonna make the text size. I'm gonna drop that down a bit to about 14 pixels. For letter spacing, I'm gonna add one pixel of spacing here. And for the line height, I'm gonna make this 1.4 EM. So let's save that. And now what we're gonna do is add the map module. So what we're gonna do is add a new row and we're gonna add a single column row. And here I'm gonna add the map module. So we'll select that. Now you can see this brings us up a Google map. Since we set up our API key already, we can now just change where we want this to center. So under our content settings where it says map, you can click this. You can see that the API key is already in here. If you need to change this, you can click change API key. That'll bring you back to your WordPress dashboard where you can change it. Now we can just search for an address we want it to center on. So I'm gonna grab an address and paste it in here and then just hit find. Now you can see the map automatically will find and zoom in on that location. Now from here, you can stylize the map to look however you want. For this, we'll just make a simple border just to make sure the map stands out. So we're gonna go to the design tab at the top here again. Then we're gonna go to border. I'm gonna just add a small two pixel border. That way we can see the map stands out. From here, you can design the map to look however you want. There are so many design tools at your disposal. So you can customize this map to fit your page in however way you need. But for this, we're just gonna leave it simple. So I'm gonna save it. And then we'll save these changes. And let's see what that looks like on a live page. So now you can see our contact page. We have our contact form above. We've got our map in the middle. And we, this is a fully functioning Google map. You can drag, you can click locations, you can do whatever you need here. And then on the bottom here, we have our second contact form. Nice and simple, but effective. Be sure to check out the blog article that's linked in the description below. It has all the examples that we use today, including the layout and instructions on how to install that yourself. Also check out some of the other videos that we have on our YouTube channel, including different tutorials, guides, layout packs, and more. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.